Hi, this is Megan of Megan's Creations, and today I'd like to show you my secrets for making worn and grunge paper. We'll start with a document with the color that you want your base paper to be, and then I have here a grunge paper by Amanda Rockwell. I really like her grunge papers, and when I look for a grunge paper, I want it to have a lot of variation with the darks and the lights, and so this one was great, and we'll start with going to the select and color range and we come down here and I usually select midtones and here the white area shows you what is selected and that's a little too much grunge so I'm going to hit cancel and I'm going to go to adjustments and adjust the brightness and contrast what I'm going to do is make a more stark contrast between the dark and light areas so I'm going to increase my contrast maybe the brightness just a little bit and so now the, the midtones should be a smaller area so now I'll go back to select color range and midtones, and you can see that now the white area is a lot smaller than what it was. And click OK. And then I'm going to copy and paste the selection onto my paper. Then I'm going to start and open up a new layer and bucket fill it with the color that I want to paint the edges with, and then clip it to that grunge. And that is the painted look. And then um, to have a little more fun with this, I also love adding newsprint and so I have a, a newsprint um, sorry that's my texture I have a newsprint overlay here by Shells Creations and I'm going to do the exact same thing I'm going to go to color range and select the shadows this time it doesn't look like it selected the text but it really does when you click OK you can see that a lot of the text all over the paper has been selected so clip control C again copy that selection paste it here and then um, maybe have some fun clipping it to the grunge areas so that it's just showing through and it looks like the grunge is showing through the, the, the newsprint there um, you know you can switch around the color see if you you know like to play with it a little there and of course you can clip a different color to that newsprint make it white something else like that interesting so this is my um, my tutorial on how I do grunge papers and I really encourage you to try something different with the grunge overlays that you get and um, I hope you'll join me for the next tutorial. Thanks.